Hi, welcome to another video. So, Minimax has been rolling out some pretty major upgrades to their agent, and honestly, it's getting kind of insane at this point. If you remember, I covered the Minimax agent a while back and showed how it could spin up virtual machines, surf the web, write code, and even build multi-page React apps that were actually production ready. But since then, the engineering team has really stepped it up, and there are some new features and improvements that I just had to show you guys. Minimax is really pushing the boundaries here, and what's cool is that you can still try a lot of this out for free with the credits they give you when you sign up. But now, let me show you how you can use it. And as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from before and from the other options out there. So, the first thing you'll notice is that the overall speed and efficiency have gotten way better. They've actually managed to reduce the average execution time by 30% and cut down token usage by 23%, which is kind of cool because it means you get more done for less. And if you're doing code-heavy tasks, there's now a Python linter that checks for errors before running your scripts, so you don't waste credits or time on silly bugs. They also compress code output now, so even big projects don't eat up your tokens as fast. That's a big deal if you're building something like a full-stack app or doing data analysis. And speaking of building apps, the agent itself now supports parallel tool calls, which just means it can do multiple things at once and get results back faster. They've also switched the browser agent to their own self-developed solution, which gives it enhanced long-term memory, better stability for those really long tasks, and it's way better at multi-turn interactions. That's actually huge if you're working on projects that require a lot of back and forth, or if you want the agent to keep context over a bunch of different steps. Plus, image recognition is cheaper now, and exporting stuff like PPTX presentations is way higher quality. The HTML to PPTX conversion is state-of-the-art now, so if you need to make slides for a meeting or a class, it'll look super professional. But now comes the best part, and that is the back-end services. This is something that I have really wanted. You can now use Supabase integration for full database, authentication, and API support. And it even comes with built-in cron jobs, so you can schedule tasks however you want. There's also a new MCP builder, so you can actually build your own MCPs from scratch or wrap existing tools and then share them on the agent marketplace. That means if you make a cool integration with, say, Notion or GitHub, you can let others use it too, which is pretty awesome. Now, let me show you some of the stuff you can actually do with these new upgrades. For example, Let's ask it to build me a full-blown investment research and analysis tool. Basically, what it should do is pull financial data from APIs like Yahoo Finance and Alpha Vantage, and then it can generate all sorts of company financial ratios, technical indicators, and valuation metrics. Once we send it, you can see that it goes ahead and starts working on it as well. It goes ahead does web searches, writes codes, and then in just a little bit, you get the stuff here as you can see. This looks amazingly well made. You can compare different stocks, build custom watch lists, and even set up your own screening criteria. This is very similar to what you'd get with big name financial software, but now you can just have the agent do it for you in a few prompts. It's super useful if you're into stocks, or just want to automate your research process. Let's try another thing as well, and let's ask it to make a storefront POS app. Now, it will go ahead and start to work on it again, and then in just a bit, it will get done. You can look at this, and this looks amazingly well made as well. It uses database and everything as well. 
So, if you're a shop owner, you can actually add your stocks, track purchases, and even print receipts right from the app. The agent handles all the back-end logic, sets up the database, and gives you a ready-to-use interface. It's not just a demo, it's actually something you could use in a real shop, which is kind of wild. You just give it your requirements, like the types of products, how you want the receipts to look, and it takes care of the rest. You can even update your inventory or sales data just by uploading a new Excel sheet, and the agent will handle the analysis and updates automatically. Now, there are a bunch of smaller improvements too. Image generation and external API calls are way more stable, and the agent can now process big batches of media files, including images, videos, and even voice clips. If you're doing content creation or need to analyze a lot of data at once, it's a lot smoother now. They've also fixed some edge cases with content concatenation, so you don't get weird errors when you're merging files or pulling data from different sources. The browser agent now supports a bigger context window, so it can read and understand longer web pages for research tasks, and it's optimized to get around anti-crawling measures, which is always a plus. There's also been a focus on making web development tasks faster and more efficient. The agent now does end-to-end -end validation automatically, and there's a visual review step that helps catch UI or content bugs before you ship your app. Automated image compression means your sites load faster, and MCP calls are more stable, especially for audio and video tasks. The response speed of the agent's first sentence is quicker now, so you're not left waiting around wondering if it's working or not. And for those of you who do a lot of presentations, the new PPT agent is really nice. It generates presentations using a new model that's cheaper and more stable, and you can export your docs as PDF, docs, or PPTX. The image search is also much more relevant, and tasks that need strong visualization now generate full HTML pages. If you're working with CJK fonts, Python visualization charts now support those perfectly, which is actually pretty rare. So, overall, the Minimax agent is just getting better and better. It can now search the web, scrape pages, run browser instances, execute terminal commands, and handle everything from building full-stack apps to doing deep data analysis, all in one prompt. It keeps checking on the apps it builds, tests them, and always gives you the most reliable results. You can share your projects as playbacks, and others can see exactly how the agent did everything, which is pretty awesome for collaboration or just showing off your workflow. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.